Hi everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about display options in your classroom. We're going to be talking about two different types of products. The first one is a document camera. The document camera seen here, usually uh, affixed to a station, something like that. And then the other thing we're going to be talking about is an iPad. So those are the two different things we're going to talk about today. Let's start with the document camera. That's what's currently connected and showing on here. The document camera is usually a fixed platform, has this kind of arm base up here, uh, a base here, and it connects either through a computer projected or it uh, can connect directly through a projector or a TV. I'm using an HDMI cable here. This can also connect through a computer as well. Uh, it has several different features. Uh, one thing to know about just kind of the setup of this is that a document camera uh, is usually affixed to a certain part of the room. So there's usually a certain place in the front or the back of the room where the connections are available for this to be connected up to the projector. Um, so it kind of lives and sits in that area and the teacher kind of lives and sits from that uh, moment. There's a lot of different features that document camera can do to help uh, you know, you, these different things show up here on the screen. As you can see, it shows my document um, and I'm able to kind of move that around. I'm also able to rotate the image so that I can get and fit it on different screens, make sure things move. Um, the Also, the head is, is mobile as well and kind of bends and, and, and adjusts as, as well. There is a lamp on here, which is really nice uh, for brightening up some of the uh, images, especially if it's dark, and you'll notice there's some contrast going on, auto contrast. It kind of uh, figures out what the best look is there. So I'll turn off that lamp and, and you can see it brightens up a little bit. So that's really nice and smart on these things. Another great resource and tool that you can do with these uh, document cameras is the freeze option. So it's really great when you're uh, maybe showing something up to the class, you can go ahead and freeze the image and then remove that information uh, and it stays up on the screen uh, for students you can put something else get back down here I'll just turn this over turn off the freeze it goes back to normal um, and is a live camera at, at that point and then you can you know freeze again remove it and you have that option uh, to freeze your image another great thing here not only is there that we have talked about that autofocus piece right where it was kind of uh, figuring out what it does for us there's an autofocus button so that as you get smaller and bigger into your different uh, images it can set that for you as well as a zoom feature so um, it has a zoom feature and you can see here it lets you kind of zoom into those things uh, once you get it here you can adjust it uh, we can also brighten and darken our image as well with the different buttons that are on listed on here and then that autofocus once again so we're going to go ahead and just zoom back out to our full zoom option here so that's a really nice feature is it comes through um, being able to kind of have those pieces on the document camera some of the limitations of a document camera are uh, just the fact that it is literally just a camera right it's just something that's here that's set up to be um, and that's it so um, if I'm wanting to show student work or be moving around the classroom this does fix me into one place uh, I'm not able to kind of get out into see students I can leave and come back uh, but this is where this stays uh, if I want student work to be put up here I've got to have that student work brought up to the front um, and then I put it up here so it does fix me in one spot in the classroom, but it's a great resource uh, to be able to pull out things, put them up on the screen and, and kind of move through. This really works with the best with digital documents, right? We would not recommend that a teacher use a you know digital resource um, on here and then try and put that up on the screen. That's not necessarily the best practice. We recommend just connecting your computer or uh, something up like that uh, for this piece. So that is the document camera, and let us talk now about an iPad. Okay, so let's talk about the iPad. So um, the iPad's gonna work in very many similar ways uh, to what you're doing. So we're gonna connect to our computer, to our TV, just through an Apple TV, which most teachers have already in their classrooms. Um, and then this will just connect through AirPlay and we'll be able to uh, screen mirror and airplay to this computer. So just connect that here. Okay, so uh, once we get to the iPad, you can see what's on my screen is actually being 
uh, projected up here on the screen as well. So you have a lot of the same type of features with the iPad and then some better ones as well, which we'll talk about. Let's go just basic to start with and just talk about it as a document camera. So as a document camera, you can easily get an iPad stand. There's many of them out on the market that just hold the iPad up over. And you'll notice that it does the exact same thing that we were doing um, with, our, with our document camera, allowing us to have an image, hold it up here, and, and display it, right? It also lets us freeze by taking a picture in just the Apple camera app. Um, so you can see I took a picture here and I'm able to edit that picture without using any other apps or programs. I can edit that picture using markup um, and write on top of this picture. So you can see here I'm given a bunch of tools at the bottom, pencils, markers, all sorts of things, and I'm able to write on here and it displays up here on the screen. One of the cool things that I'm able to do with the iPad that I can't do with the document camera is I'm mobile now. So now I can walk uh, to a student's desk, I can be uh, moving around the classroom and still be interacting and talking through the different resources that we're talking about on the board, but also here with my iPad. So that's one of the great uh, resources that really brings it like a document camera. I can do the same features, right? Where I can zoom, I can change the brightness, I can uh, freeze and all of those types of things, but now I'm on an iPad itself. The iPad also can go a little bit farther than just the camera app, right? So not only am I able to have it be a camera, I'm able to now take this camera and I'm able to go to students' desks and I'm, I'm able to, you know, look at what's on their desk and take a picture or show the class, oh, look what they've done. Or, hey, everybody, look and see how they're doing this, this project or how they're answering this question. And so it allows me to have those opportunities there. With the iPad, there's a lot of tools that come on here that can really help you as a teacher untether from your desk, share what's going on um, with the class and move forward. Another great tool using Nearpod, right, with your iPad or with the screen connected allows the teacher to control those pieces from their, their iPad. Uh, there's some tools like Notability and Show Me, um, electronic whiteboard type tools that allow you to do something very similar. So you'll see here, I am able to get this kind of white page, right, where I can just kind of do what I need to do. Then I can access uh, resources or materials, and I can put those things up here for the class to see. So you can see I took a picture uh, of this resource, I put it up here for the class to see. Uh, they can look at it, we can talk about it, and I can ask them questions. Um, and write those up on the board as well as I'm walking around with this. I can be pointing different things out. I can be putting them up here. And then after the class is over for the day, I can then make this a PDF and upload it on Canvas for students who missed today. So as I go through and I'm like, okay, that's great. I can go to a new slide. I can do more things where I take pictures of a document, which I'll do here. And um, I can put that document up here. Let's just put that in as an image, right? So I've got my document up here uh, set in. Once again, I can draw on it. I can highlight on it. I can erase things that I, that I don't want on there. I can move things around. I can even, they have a laser pointer feature, whereas I put my finger on my screen, it shows a laser pointer on the screen there so that I can uh, direct students' attention to it. That's using Notability. Once again, I'm able to do a lot of the things I can do here with a document camera. Now I'm mobile. It also saves those things and it's electronic, okay? So let's talk about another resource. Uh, Show Me, another similar whiteboard app uh, where you can make your own or you can um, use one that's already been created. Same type of a thing, whiteboard uh, type resource. Okay, we're gonna go to our next one here, um, which is our Google Suite. So we have Jamboard, Google Drive, Docs, all of those things, right? So Jamboards, once again, I can pull a Jamboard up on here, walk around the classroom. As students are collaborative, maybe they're also on this Jamboard and they're uh, writing in some information or adding a sticky note to it. And I'm just gonna add a little sticky note. And then I can see those come up on the board here and we can talk about this as a collaborative group. So uh, a lot of times when we're using technology, one of the fears is that everyone's gonna become isolated and focusing only on their screen uh, and really miss that, that 
that whole group classroom instruction. So here, this allows us to still have those um, individual devices for students to work on and to input information, but still as a class, we can be putting that here and I'm walking around. I'm not tethered with my computer up into the front, but I'm able to walk around, look at those and engage with my students at the same time. So that is um, a, an awesome resource for you as well uh, with Jamboard. The same thing for slides or drives. You can um, operate your slides from your, your iPad and be walking around. So if you have a slideshow that you're going through that day, it shows your, your notes, what's coming up next, and you can just move through them just like you normally would. Um, and it also gives you a pen feature where you can write on them, circle, underline, all of those things and really kind of lets you maximize how you're using your instruction in your classroom. Once again, I'm mobile, I'm able to move around, uh, be with students, helping, checking on them, still projecting up to the front of the class. So those are some differences between how a document camera can work in the classroom and an iPad. Very similar uh, in the way that they can be used. Obviously, the iPad lets you be a little more mobile uh, and it allows you to do a lot more uh, things with your class rather than just uh, looking at you know physical resources and documents uh, with the document camera. I hope this video has been helpful. And um, if you have any questions, please reach out to an instructional coach. We'd love to help and support you. Thank you.